very positive about the future. You know, I had a major setback in the last um, the last number of months, but uh, you know, I'm, I'm one of the lucky ones, so I'm, I'm really looking forward to the future now. Now, for people who don't know, can you, can you just tell your story? You're you're a, a decorated player with Longford Town, part-time footballer with Longford Town for many years, FA Cup winner. Then you signed for Glory United, a three-year contract, and what happened after that? Um, basically, as soon as I started the contract, they done they done a medical, and it showed up there was an irregularity um, within the heart. Um, through further investigation um, and through a lot of consultation with doctors, they says that it was in my best interest to to stop playing soccer. Um, unfortunately, it was I wasn't happy about that. You know, I just signed a three-year contract with the champions of Ireland and, and within the league, and it was something that I always wanted to do. And um, but unfortunately, I just had to, you know, health comes over anything else, and I, I had to look on, on the outside as well. I got family and friends that I had to think of, so it was um, it was it would have been selfish of me to continue on to play soccer. It must have been a pretty surreal feeling, I suppose, to be told, listen, you find out your professional career as footballer is over. This was obviously a dream of yours, professional football, and you're going to a club that that was looking at the time like it was going to be dominating the league for the next couple of years. Uh, And then, almost before it started, you're told, no, your career is over. But then you have to weigh that up, I suppose, the devastation with that, with the fact that you were lucky enough that the test got done at that time. If you'd continue playing on for Longford, then you could have gone the way of maybe other players. Your heart could have failed while you were playing. Absolutely. I'm I'm very lucky and I'm 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 constantly reminded of how lucky I am, you know, by my by my parents, um, you know, other people such as Cormac McAnallen and um haven't been weren't weren't as lucky. Yeah. Um lucky enough for me, um Dr. Alan Bourne, he done a he done a, a stringent test on me and he, he was able to tell me exactly what was going on. Um it was basically my life was in turmoil, you know, soccer was always what I wanted to do. It was something that I'd been doing since I was about maybe say five years of age. So it was gonna be my profession for, for life. So basically I was being made redundant from something that I was wanting to play um since I was five years of age. But looking back on it now and, and how I was um six, seven months ago um, I'm able to think more clearly of where I was at um, and where I am now, and I just know in the long run that it's um, you know it's best, obviously that that I, I wasn't to continue on. Yeah, it must have been fairly hard to deal with though the fact that the, your career, all you'd known really, with regards to playing. I mean, you were only part time at Longford Town, but the amount of effort and training that goes in and the success you had in the field, football was your thing. Absolutely, I, I was working um, like a, an eight to five job and going straight from from that then over to uh, Westminster Town when I was training at Longford Town. Days when I, when I was injured, I was cycling up the train and um, just to because it was so dedicated. Even in in the off season, I was, like when I went away to America, I joined the gym and I was doing a, a lot of a training program over there. I was I was very dedicated. I me heart was always in it. And any time I went out onto the pitch, I always gave a hundred percent. I never considered myself an, an, a good player. I always considered myself consistent. And I yeah. was just very lucky that um that I won won medals and and I'm I'm glad I won them with Longford because it's my it's my home team and, and people appreciate of what I've done for them. Yeah, obviously you got to look at your future I suppose and the financial situation is something as well that uh, you have to consider. Now, you don't get insurance that you'd normally get, let's say, insured as a player if you get injury because technically it isn't an injury that ends, that's ended your career. That's true, um, you know, I was well looked into by Stephen McGuinness with the PFAI and it's not a, it's not seen as a football related injury and um, whereas if I had broken my leg there would have been um, insurance there unfortunately it was one of the uh, bits of bad news that I was getting at the time so yeah. I didn't expect anything less uh, when you when you're down you're down and and um, bad rains of pores absolutely and but n- like now you you accept these things and um, you you know I, I can't just be banking on you know things to be there for me I have to make things happen um, I've enrolled in college something that I absolutely love doing and it's been 11 years since I was in education yeah. so it's just a, it's a challenge for me um, to, to be able to get through but something like after what I'm after coming through it's definitely something that I, I, I feel I can um, hit head on something that's made you stronger absolutely you know I learned so much about myself over the last seven months um, I, I kind of kept to myself a lot and I went I, I was within myself you know it, it really affected me because it was, as you say earlier on, it was my it was my career. I got the dream move, something that I'd always wanted to do. And considering what happened at Longford Town last year when we got relegated, yeah. it was something of um, it was a plus to be able to go and sign for the champions of of, um, of our country. But uh, unfortunately, it was it wasn't meant to be. It was it wasn't a long stay. But I think most people will, um, and I know my family would rather have me around than, than yeah. a memorial mass to be going to. Yeah, this is the thing, I suppose. And I know you talked there about looking looking positive and, and going to college and stuff like that. But at the time, did you feel cheated? Did you oh. feel like this has been robbed away from me? Absolutely. I, um, it just happened so easily. You know, I, I remember going to the doctor and the doctor telling me, um, 
saying that like that it was very serious and I still I still couldn't believe it and even to this day I still find it I still find it difficult to, to accept but um, because it's not something like it's not like you're you're permanently on crutches or you've had two steel plates put in your leg and that's keeping it together it's not a physical thing like that it's it's internal so it must be hard even for you to visualize that I can't run for fear of Abs absolutely like and, and before I even went to Drada when I was away in America I was like running up mountains and all and um, I felt great there wasn't there, I didn't that there didn't seem to be a problem but this is just seems to be a new thing I think um, what happened with Cormac McAnallen it, it opened up you know for people the to awareness yeah the okay, awareness yeah. and to investigate further and it seems to be a lot more common now among sports people um, or people that are that are active but it's um, it's something that I've got to deal with I couldn't just be ignorant to the fact that it, you know, it was going to happen to me. And but if if I continued on to play soccer, I think it would have been disrespectful to the families of of people who dropped dead on a pitch or yeah. maybe in bed. So I like I just got to be mindful of where I'm at now in my life and and just look forward to the future. Yeah. Um. Can I ask you just about your impressions of the league before we even go on to that? You obviously were disappointed, and you're in arbitration with with Drogheda United now, who have since got obviously their own money troubles as well. With regards to the the, the amount of compensation you got, you signed a contract so that that is still to come and you've talked about being very disappointed about how you feel you were treated but how do you feel about that now and how do you feel about the way maybe Drogheda have gone and the league as a whole I suppose going into some severe financial difficulty the last couple of years yeah well I was looking looking back on it now um, before I started college I was I was like I was angry what was after happening I was envious of anyone who was playing soccer even my friends because they were coming home and they were saying oh, I wasn't in the team this week and like lucky enough for them they were able to go train the next day yeah um, even people who were going in training and not giving it their all I couldn't understand why they were doing it as with the draw I, you know I hate seeing them in that way because I met a lot like the lads that I knew up there um, you know they're good friends of mine and I wouldn't like to see anyone in, in, in that sort of state because they're all now looking at a financial situation with regards to having contracts signed and mortgages and uh, anticipating absolutely. like you were three years at least of professional football absolutely and like a lot of them will have families and houses um, lucky enough I'm not, I wasn't in that situation um, I don't have any kids or I'm not married or haven't got a house so like they're in a, in a sticky situation yeah. and I wouldn't want it on anybody you know like it, uh, I, I do hope that it all gets sorted out because I do have a lot of friends there and um, the lads up and drive have supported me um, through taking ten, sending me text messages and stuff like that. And without a doubt, I, I hope they get out of it. You know, I think yeah. it's for for the league, um, like they've got such a professional setup. When when I went up to draw the, um to see the actual training facilities, it was it was top class, and like a team like that shouldn't be in the financial situation that they are in. And I do hope that they get out of it, and I and I hope to be to be able to move forward. Just onto your testimonial and the quality of player that would be there, I suppose it's going to be a massive night. Yeah, it's going to be fantastic. I, I'm really looking forward to it. It was something that I hadn't. It didn't. It didn't. Um, it wasn't up to me to to run. Um, Eamon Donoghue and Stephen Finn had proposed it to Longford Town and they've been putting the work in all summer um, as far as I know Marco Tardelli is going to be taking part in, in the game which is going to be fantastic yeah. um, and as well players who won things with Longford Town um, you know Brian McGovern Barry Ferguson and all these Stuart players Byrne, are, are yeah. going to Stewie Bourne they're all going to be coming back and it's going to be fantastic to, to have everyone there together and hopefully it's going to be a good night I'm really looking forward to it Yeah, your own memories of your time at Longford Town looking back and I know what were the highlights for you um, the highlights definitely were, were winning the Cups you know winning the, the first FAI Cup up and then retain it then the following year um, although we had a bit of luck in, in both finals with yeah. Shane Barrett's offside goal and the second yeah. ball that arrived onto the pitch um, I'd say as well the, the League Cup I mean, when I scored it in Longford in flank here against Bohemians the fact that it was in front of the home crowd I have pictures up on my wall um, you know, to prove that I actually did score a goal within, <laughs> within, uh, within, so within you calling that into question. You know, yeah, oh, plenty of people have been, yeah, but it's uh, no, I, I've had I had fantastic years at Longford. It was a short space of time; it was only seven years, but I was lucky to play in six cup finals, where a lot of players who've been in the league a lot longer never got be, to play have never one. been involved in one. Um, I I have my medals to to prove that you know that I was successful as a player, and it's at, le at least I know now like that my career within the Aircom League. Um, wasn't for nothing. I have something there to prove that you know I was a decent enough player to win something. The Sunday Sports Show on News Talk 106 to 108.